Reflection is the bouncing off of a wave when it meets a barrier. It might look a little confusing in real life because it may be hard to distinguish the original wave from the reflected waves. But we can simplify it by looking at three or four wavefronts. Let's understand some basics. Firstly, this is our reflecting plane. Any wave hitting the plane is reflected. This is the incident wave. It is called this because it is approaching the plane. These are the reflected waves. When we are analyzing the waves, what we are really interested in is the direction of the wave. The direction of the wave is at right angles to the wavefront. So for even more simplicity, we can ignore the wavefront and concentrate on the wave direction. But let's bring back the wavefronts for now. Wherever the incident waves meet the reflecting plane, there is a normal. The normal is just an imaginary line drawn anywhere along the reflecting plane where the incident ray touches it. It's really just used to set up your bearings so you can make some measurements. The thing to remember about the normal is that you always draw it at 90 degrees to the plane. Remember, it doesn't exist at one place. It's imaginary and occurs anywhere the incident ray touches the plane. The angle of incidence is the angle between the incident wave and the normal. So that's this angle here. Similarly, the angle of reflection is the angle between the reflected wave and the normal. This one here. Multiple experiments show that the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. This is what is called the law of reflection. So for example, if we have an incident wave with an angle of incidence equaling 20 degrees, the reflected wave will have an angle of reflection equal to 20 degrees as well. If we have incident waves with an angle of incidence equal to 67 degrees, the reflected wave will have an angle of reflection also equal to 67 degrees. The law of reflection states the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. The normal, the incident wave, and the reflected wave all lie on the same plane or dimension, meaning you can draw them on a flat sheet of paper. 